In this step we are going to take a look at what's going on in the back end of our website. By understanding what's under the hood, which software and tools you'll be using, you'll much easier troubleshoot any issues that may occur later on. For this project we'll be using all open source and free software to create our website. However, there are a few things that we need to pay for, such as hosting, domain name. As you can see in the chart, our project will, will be separated into two types of hostings, shared and VPS, or virtual private server. Very simply said, hosting is a network infrastructure which allows website to be on the internet 24-7. Everyone can host a website, you can do it on your own PC, but it, it, your PC would need to be on 24-7 and you'll need to take care of security and many other things, so it's not as simple. Websites are therefore hosted on special power computers called servers. So when buying a hosting, you're basically paying for the space on someone else's server. There are three types of web hosting, shared, virtual and dedicated. Shared hosting means that there are plenty of people sharing one physical server. It's like living in a building with lots of apartments where, where you are sharing same resources, CPU, disk space and RAM, but have different living space website. So each website is separate but you are all sharing one server. Dedicated hosting means that each and every website has their own server or a supercomputer and it is very pricey and hard to maintain and requires technical knowledge. VPS is a hybrid of shared and dedicated where each server is virtually separated into few smaller pieces where each customer gets their own piece of the server and operate on them independently. It's like living in a semi-detached building. So the hosting is basically like a piece of land. So if the hosting is a land, the building or the house is our website, the domain name is like a street address for your website. It's that www.yourwebsite.com. Domain names are created to make internet protocol addresses or IP, which look like random numbers accessible to people and readable by humans. On top of the domain name, we will install an SSL certificate, which is an encrypted tunnel from your customer's browser to your own web server. We will have a piece of land, which is our hosting, we will have a building, which is our website, and we will have a domain name, which is a street address. By installing an SSL certificate, we are now putting a special lock on our website to protect the residents or the visitors of our website. Okay, so now we need to furnish our home and that's what we're actually doing by installing a special software called WordPress. WordPress is a blogging software. It is most used free and open source blogging platform. On top of WordPress, we'll be installing few different things. WooCommerce, which is an e-commerce software, will be installing a special WordPress theme, which is our website design, or in this theoretical example, for the appearance of our home, and we'll be adding a few more functionalities. We had pre-coded pieces of software called plugins. So that's it. On the shared hosting, we'll have a piece of land, the building, the street address, the encrypted lock on it, we'll have the interiors, tools and everything inside. However, our bank on, or our safe will be on a separate virtual private server. On the VPS, we'll install our BTC Pay server. BTC Pay is an open source and free software like everything else we're using in this tutorial, which will allow us to receive Bitcoin payments to our website. It is a complete invoicing system which works very smooth and it will allow you to accept multiple types of, of cryptocurrencies as well as the innovative Lightning Network, a second layer payment system happening on top of the Bitcoin. But that's all a bit technical, we'll not go into that for now. All you have to remember now is that we'll have our completely built house or a website on one hosting and we'll have our bank built on another street address and another hosting. So the reason I want to keep these two separate is not only because of the security reasons but also because you're more likely to mess things up on the virtual private server. So if you mess something up I do not want your website to go down. If you do not want to have your own bank, you can use someone else's bank and receive payments through them. I hope that this was not too abstract. If it was, uh, do not worry. You will understand everything uh, much easier as we now begin to build our website. Okay, now that we planned how are we going to build our house and our bank or our website and our payment processor or payment gateway, 
we are now going to plan the cost. We will now see how much it will cost to have this bank and house or website and payment processor. So the web hosting will be around $3.95 USD dollars a month, which is about $47 for 12 months of hosting. Domain name will be $14.95 for 12 months. VPS hosting is an optional cost and uh, it will cost uh, anywhere between uh, 5 to 20 or even 60 dollars depending which virtual private server you choose we will choose the cheapest one so you can see the total cost on the screen now and this is approximately what it will cost you to have your own website your own web shop and accept payments with no third party no fees and protect the privacy of you and your customers completely enough with theory let's now dive in and start finally building our website